Hi, this is Lindsay, one of the co-hosts of Beauties and Headcanons. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters, here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Your Life Matters, where we talk about dreaming big and dreaming bold to reach your wildest dreams in both your health and your happiness. A new show comes out every single Tuesday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of Your Life Matters. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Why just survive the day when you can thrive in the moment and be your best the days you have? Why just survive the day when you can thrive in the moment and be your best in the days that you have? Welcome to Choose to Rise. Welcome to Public House Media. I am so honored and blessed that you have decided to push play today and listen in to another episode of Choose to Rise, where it's my 100% desire to help you rise up out of your current situation and live your best life. And today is no different. I am bringing you five tips, five strategies, five little self-care habits that will help you thrive in life. And, you know, I just want to first and foremost, share a little gratitude with you and thank you so much for all of your support and everything that you do to share the message of Choose to Rise, to share the these messages with your friends and your family. Those of you that uh, screenshot and upload that screenshot to your social media, Instagram, Facebook, and tag me at KJP Meyer, that you know, have no idea how that just fills my heart. And so today I want to offer you up an opportunity. If you are doing that, I'm noticing and I'm writing names down. I'm plugging in here and sometime here in the next couple of weeks, I will be pulling names, um, drawing names for a 15 minute like coach session with me. And so if that's interesting to you, the most precious thing I can give you is my time. And um, I'd love to be able to um, connect and help you um, rise up a little bit more in life and help you with whatever it is that you're kind of struggling with. So, um, you know, share away, you know, tag and share on social media and tag KJP Meyer and um, it fills my heart. It helps other people find it. And it lets me know that that you appreciate and you value the things that I'm putting out here. So thanks so much for those of you that do that. And I can't wait to start giving back a little bit more to you as well beyond just my gratitude every day that I feel um, when I see those things happen. So thank you so much. All right, let's get into the content here. Why just survive the day when you can thrive in the moment and be your best in the days that you have? So much of us, like myself included for a very long time, and still sometimes in the, when things kind of get out of whack, but our schedules, our to-do lists, um, our kids' needs, our own needs, the needs, our expectations at work, um, our expectations in our relationships, so many things pull us in a million different directions. And when what I've learned over the time is that if you are not taking care of yourself, you're really not able to take care of other people. The best way for you to show up for others is to show up for yourself first. An empty pitcher cannot fill up an empty glass. You have to be able to have something there. And taking these five tips, these five areas, these five little habits and putting them into your day, putting them into life scheduling them in and making sure that they happen for you will definitely fill your own cup, fill your own energy levels and and life. And then, you know, you'll have way more to give to other people when it's time for you to do that. So these is called five to thrive. And they're actually five self care tips that Rachel Hollis shares in her last 90 days um, campaign that she did with her her last book. But they're really just basic self-care tips. They can really have come from anywhere. And I've been practicing these five things before they were coined Five to Thrive with Rachel um, for the uh, last three to four years. And uh, they're, they're just simple habits. So the first one is get up an hour earlier than normal and do and use the time for yourself. So I have been getting up at least an hour earlier. The first that started out was like 30 minutes earlier. It was exactly the amount of time I needed to get my workout in. I wore my workout clothes to bed. I rolled out of bed when the alarm went off. I went downstairs and pushed play. 
and I had exactly the amount of time that I needed for that workout. Getting up in the morning was super hard because I was a, and still am, a night owl by nature, and getting up earlier was hard. So I was just giving myself just that little bit of time. But over time, I became someone because I had consistent habits and because I had consistency in what I was doing, I became the person that was able to get up. And then a little bit more, I'd add a little bit more something to it. So it started out with just that 30 minutes for my workout. And then it was like, okay, I'm going to get up and do a little bit of personal development in the, in that morning time. So now it was 40 minutes. And then um, I you know I needed to use my affirmations and I wanted to uh, you know plug into some worship time or make sure I have enough time for my energize. Maybe I needed to eat something before my workout. So now it's it's become a full hour before the day starts. And so now I get up at, at my alarm goes off at five. I roll over. I do I get out of bed. I still wear my workout clothes to bed. Um, but I get up and I do my affirmations and my prayer work and um, all the things I need to for my own self. And then we push play on a workout, which is still about 30 minutes. But now my husband joins in with me and does that too. And then, you know, now my day can start out on a great note. I have so much more to give to my family because I've taken the time for myself to plug in and be my absolute best. The second thing is to work out for at least 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes of a heart pumping, cardiovascular, um, something where your heart rate is getting up a little bit, getting a good sweat on, getting movement in in your day, whether it's right away in the morning or it's maybe at night, whenever it fits into your schedule. I have lots of women in my healthy accountability group that um, even work out over their lunch period. And it's just a matter of getting active and getting moving. When you can move your body, you're strengthening your body. When you can build up endurance, you're building not only endurance for your fitness and your health, strengthening your heart and your muscles, but you're also building endurance in your mindset and you're building endurance in life. Because when you can do something hard like that and push through and do you know a couple more reps or push through and last at least another five to 15 seconds, like you can keep, you're teaching yourself that you can do hard things, that you can complete hard things. Just like when you are routinely getting up a little bit earlier every morning, you are teaching yourself that you can are capable of it and that you can do more. And so working out at least 30 minutes a day not only strengthens your body, but it strengthens your mind, it changes your attitude, it changes your heart set and all those kinds of things. And it really helps your entire life when you get up and move. So the third step I have for you is drink half of your body weight in in ounces of water each day. And this seems so basic and people are like, yeah, 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 I know I need to drink more water. But seriously, people, your body thrives on water. 70% of, of yourself is made up of some sort of liquid. And so when you are fulfilling yourself, you're giving your body the water it needs in order to function at its best. You have more energy. It works better. You have clear skin. You're able to live a healthier and happier life because you are saturated. You are ready to go. Your body has the what it needs to kind of clean out the toxins and the junk of, of how your body works. And so drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water every day is much needed in order for you to, to live your best. Now, this also helps with, with nutrition and it also helps with you know feeling, feeling full um, when you, so you're not snacking all the time. A lot of times you're not hungry, you're just dehydrated. So make sure you're drinking at least eight ounces of water, maybe even 12 ounces of water before you eat something. And be, you'll be surprised that you probably don't need something to eat. You just needed something to fill your system. The fourth step is to give up one food category you know that you shouldn't be eating. Now, I'm not talking about food groups. I'm talking about food categories. Number four is give up one food category you know you shouldn't be eating. So this is things like not, it's not like giving up carbs. It's not giving up, you know, dairy. It's not giving up whatever. It's giving up the things that you know don't impact you well, like processed foods. That's a category you could give up. Um, overprocessed bleached out flour or sugars or processed things. Um, you know, anything that comes in a package, maybe you're not going to have anymore. You know, things that are from the earth. Um, Jesse Itzler the other day had on his Instagram that if for him and his family, they're trying to the first thing that they eat in the day, the first thing they consume when they wake up in the morning should be something that is living, not something that has been chemically made, but something that has been godly made. And by giving up those other things, the things that are not meant for your body, you will have more energy. You will be able to function better. Your body will respond with positivity because it's getting the fuel that it needs, the fuel that it desires to function at its best. 
And then the last one I have for you is number five is write down 10 things you're grateful for every single day. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I try to do is have an attitude of gratitude. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the warm bed that I'm in. Thank you for the opportunity to get up and move. Thank you for the husband that's laying next to me. Thank you for the roof over my head. This morning, I was thankful that we had power and electricity. We had some storms that went through last night. Um, You know, I'm thankful for, and I just rattle off these things as I'm getting up and moving. And it just starts my day in an attitude of gratitude and keeping a positive mindset on things. At the end of the day, reflecting on things that are you're grateful for as well. When you can look back at the day and find the little things in your life, instead of focusing on all the the woe is me negative things that happened, but focus on the the small good things that are happening. And those small good things will compound over time. And if you can have an attitude of gratitude about every single day and go to bed with a grateful heart, you're more likely to wake up with a grateful heart as well. And you're just when you're in an attitude of gratitude, your life just is a heck of a lot more positive. So number five was write down 10 things you're grateful for every single day. Maybe even keep a journal with it. Number four is give up one food category you know you shouldn't be eating, like sugars and processed flours and, you know, those snacks that you just don't need. Number three is drink half of your body weight in in ounces of water each day. Fuel yourself with liquid. Number two was work out at least 30 minutes a day, getting your heart rate up and your and your blood pumping. And the first one was get up an hour earlier than you normally do and use the time for yourself. Your to-do list will come, the things, uh, everyone, all the demands of the world where you will come at you later, but make sure you're taking time for yourself so that you've got an opportunity to thrive in your day and be your absolute, absolute best self. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have strategies, you have tips, you have something that you want to share with me, I encourage you to head over to choose to up, choose to rise up.com. Head over there. Um, find past episodes of our show, um, connect with me more, learn more about my story, what I do, and you know, even you find ways to get connected with me and do what I do or be a part of what I'm doing in health and wellness. And just know that that you can uh, be a part of all that too. I hope and pray today that you have a blessed day, that you take the time to choose to rise up and be your absolute best self. And thanks again for joining and I'll see you again here next time.